Hi, I'm Helena, and I'm going to show you how to get started with AirFocus. So let's move on to the home screen. First, you have to log in to your AirFocus team account. This is where you see and access all of your workspaces. A workspace is the home for your product team. This is where all of the team collaboration happens. You can also create a new workspace here. When creating a new workspace, you can start from scratch or select one from a variety of templates that are based on proven methodologies. Choose the one that best suits your current situation and job to be done. Let's start with the product template. Your workspace has different views such as the table, chart, Kanban board, and timeline Gantt chart. Every team's workflow and needs are different. That's why we have the App Store here. Within the App Store, you can add apps and features and customize your workspace to match how your team works. You can select apps such as Priority Ratings, Priority Poker, and much more coming soon. Within the apps, you can also set up and access all of your integrations, but we'll cover that later. Table View is where you manage and prioritize your items. On this view, we're using the group field as swim lanes. Items are the primary things that you can add to your workspace, such as features, epics, projects, or initiatives. Let's create a new item manually within the stickiness group. Give the item a name. You can add any additional information like a description, field values, attachments, or comments. That way, whoever is looking at this item will know what needs to be done. When an item is ready for execution, push it over to one of the integrated systems. If you don't want to manually add the items, you can also import them from one of our integrations like Jira, Trello, Asana, Azure DevOps, CSV, and many more. You can see here which third-party tools are integrated with the items. You can also see what the status of that item is on the other tool. One of the biggest challenges for product teams is to prioritize their items. Don't worry though, AirFocus's Priority Ratings apps makes it a whole lot easier to prioritize with the customizable Priority Scoring. You can access the Priority Ratings app and its prioritization settings from the App section. Based on the prioritization settings, the Priority Ratings app now adds prioritization factors and criteria to your workspace. In our example, we have two value criteria customer value, which is measured in t-shirt sizes, and reach, which is of type percentage. On the effort side, we use person days as a criteria. It's a general number. The third and last factor, revenue, also has one criteria, and we measure it on a 0 to 10 scale. As you can see on the table, a lot of the priority ratings criteria values have been entered already. Our item, Slackbot, has not been rated. Let's complete the ratings for this item and let our algorithms calculate your priority scores. And there you have it. You can now see our priority score right here. The score is kind of like a North Star metric that helps you make better decisions throughout the other AirFocus views and beyond. It gives you an indication of how important an item is compared to other items. Now that all the items have been organized and rated, let's switch to the chart view. The chart allows you to get a bird's eye perspective on your product strategy and priorities. It visualizes the importance of each item on a 2x2 two two grid, with the value factor on the Y and the effort on the X axis. Revenue is represented in the bubble size. You can find your quick wins in the top left and your don't do's in the bottom right. With this big picture view, you're equipped to make high impact decisions on what to do and when. Sometimes you may want to drill down into certain item segments. For that, you can always use our filters.
The Kanban board is one of two roadmap visualizations, and it enables you to plan and share what you're working on now, next, and later to keep everyone in sync. It's the right choice when you need a more agile, flexible roadmap. The lanes are completely customizable as well, and you can use drag and drop to move items between Kanban lanes and the unplanned items container to adjust your roadmap. Use the display option at any time to change how you can view your data. The Gantt timeline view shows a time-oriented view of your items. It allows you to plan your roadmap based on time and plan towards shared milestones. You can use drag and drop here as well to move items or adjust their duration. Use the little dot on each item to create a dependency on another item. That way, you can visualize when an item is blocking an item or being blocked by another item. Click Share to create read-only share links of your views or export them to PDF. You can even password protect a view and revoke the link at any time. And there you have it, a streamlined overview of how you can get started with AirFocus. Until next time, happy planning!